so this video is for beginners and uh, in this video i'll show you guys how to play the pentatonic scale so there's a reason why every pro musician and professional tends to stick around this scale and it goes like this not to play like this but it's simply just pentatonic scale and we have two pentatonic scale major and minor in this video i'll be showing you guys the two major and minor scales so from the word pentatonic you can guess i have five notes so uh, this is the a minor pentatonic we have the top string as a root note so that's our a fifth fret uh, pinky goes and plays the eight fret on e which is a c index plays the a5 which is a d ring plays a7 which is e and then index plays the g5 which is uh i mean the d5 which is a g so there we have five notes and after that just repeat so again we have the same thing a c d e g and this is the full shape and you can reverse back so uh, you play uh, we got 5 8 5 7 5 7 5 7 5 8 on B 5 8 on E as well so very simple this is a minor pentatonic scale so uh, this will be pretty similar sounding to this one this is a major pentatonic scale so you can play the A minor and C major pentatonic scale on top of each other. You can combine them and play, no problem. So uh, this this was the minor pentatonic scale of A. You can obviously play G minor. You can play E minor over here. You can play it over here. And most of the other scales, blues and all, it will be around the scale so if you want to play a blues you can simply add one note and you'll get the all right so that's our a minor pentatonic scale and you can practice like this over here if you look at the tab i'm simply just playing 5 8 5 7 5 7 5 7 5 7 5 7 5 7 5 7 5 8 5 7 5 8 5 8 and then reverse so you just play in a pair of threes and now let's talk about the major and the major goes like this so it's a c major a minor c major so if uh the song the song is in key of c or it's an a minor you can play any of the two or you can play both combined you just create a beautiful melody can just improvise on top of it so it goes like this eight on e pinky on 10 of e and then you go seven on a ten on a seven on d ten on d seven on g nine on g uh, then you have b8 b10 e8 b10 so a bit different in the shape and you can play it reverse like you did for the minor one and this is again pentatonic scale so five notes we got c we got d we got e and then we have G and then you have A and then just repeat these two are some extra notes so it doesn't really matter so this is the box so combine these two just creates a beautiful melody so and most of the song which you listen to the famous riff which comes uh, it's all from these two shapes so uh, just find out the key of the song I've previously made a video where I'll show you guys how to find out the key of a song so you can check that video out too uh, if you are a beginner that will be very helpful and then you can combine this and you can actually f play the melody of a song so suppose I want to play shape of you it's in C sharp minor so let's uh, identify the C sharp minor note on the top E string so it will be over here the top string 9th fret that's a C sharp so now I can play the shape minor pentatonic so 
vi går. See that? And that just goes for any of the song. The melody lies inside the pentatonic or minor or the major. So guys, just keep practicing this. There we have a couple of exercises which you can do uh, every day. Just practice, get better at it. And yeah, bye.